और मैं ये भी ये भी कहना चाहता हूँ कि तेलंगाना बनने के बाद तीसरी इलेक्शन भी आगे आने वाली है तो जैसे मैंने हैट्रिक किया आपके साथ आप भी मेरे साथ हैट्रिक करो और मुझे वापस लाओ ये भी आपसे कहना चाहता हूँ and going by the applause i am thinking uh, we'll come back um just quickly uh, mr agarwal spoke about how the state has grown by leaps and bounds arun ji also was pointing out to how this is a bright spot for the industry across the nation you know blowing one's own trumpet all the time is not a not a very cool thing but it's my fiduciary responsibility also to make sure that all of you understand the kind of growth that we have witnessed over the last 9 years especially as we enter the 10th year after the formation of the state um let me quickly highlight a few things of course governance is a permanent institution government is a permanent institution you know government the leaders who head the government might change but it's a continuous process lots of times what happens is especially from a business perspective policy continuity is extremely important you know there is one government during whose tenure you would have set up an industry and you would expect that whatever were whatever promises were made by that particular government will be kept by the succeeding government as well irrespective of political affiliations irrespective of uh, um, you know their overall strategies and overall world views back in early 2000s and late 90s we had a chief minister shri chandra babu naidu garu who had a very pro business pro it image was considered very business savvy was considered very business friendly etc and then in 2004 we had another chief minister dr y s rajshekhar reddy garu who came in who were a very pro farmer pro welfare pro rural kind of an image so we had a chief minister who was pro business pro urban pro business and then we had a chief minister who was pro farmer pro rural pro poor but today if you look at telangana what makes this unique is kcr garu has an image of both in fact it's a blend of best in both we have a pro rural pro agriculture pro uh, welfare image we also have a pro business pro urban pro development image now let me substantiate and let me back that up by a few statistics as was pointed out the gross state domestic product of the state in 2014 was 5 lakh 5000 crore now it's 13.27 lakh crore it's a huge humongous growth highest for any state in the country the per capita was 1 lakh 12000 in 2014 now it's 3 lakh 17000 highest for any state in india today i mean uh, for the 28 states in india let me also point out that's why today if somebody asked me what is this telangana model that you gloat about brag about i only say four things it's holistic integrated it is inclusive and most importantly it's balanced what do i mean what i mean is today telangana when i said dr y s rajshekhar reddy and chandra babu naidu and the contrast between the two of them and how telangana is a amalgamation of the best in both the reason why i say that is because we are less than 3 3% of india's population but today when national panchayati awards and national municipality awards are declared by government of india this state with less than 3% wins 30% of the awards no other indian state has been able to accomplish that kind of feat we are only 2.5% of india in population but we contribute to 5% of india's gdp literally we are a 50 kilo boxer fighting in 100 kilo category punching double our weight not many states in india can claim that most importantly we have ensured that this development is holistic we have not neglected any sector our it sector and it exports have risen from 56000 crores in 2014 to 241000 crores in 2023 our it experts have risen but it exports have risen but so have our agriculture exports not only in industrial policy in tsi pass 21 15 din mein agar permission de denge agar nahi denge to 16va din automatic approval hai koi hindustan ki koi raj aapko nahi batati hai और जयेश जैसे सीनियर ब्यूरोक्रेट को भी आज एक हजार रुपये का फाइन लग सकता है अगर आपका फाइल उसने सोलवा दिन या सत्रह दिन आप अगर उन्होंने होल्ड किया हुआ है तो ही कैन बी फाइंड अ सम ऑफ रुपीज वन थाउजेंड पर डे दिस इज बाय स्टैच्यूट बाय लेजिस्लेशन नो इंडियन स्टेट विल टेल यू दिस एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली नॉट जस्ट इन इंडस्ट्रियल पॉलिसी इवन आर बिल्डिंग परमिशन टूडे 
all building permissions again in the same model. 21 days, we promise all clearances. If we don't deliver, 22nd day, it's a deemed approval. No state in India will tell you this. These are the disruptions our Honorable Chief Minister brought. Our Honorable Chief Minister led a delegation to China in 2015 as part of the World Economic Forum summer event. He went to a place called Shichou. I think if I'm pronouncing it uh, right, it's Shichou. He was amazed to see a 70,000 acre industrial park. 70,000 acres. When he came back, he told us, he said, they are on a different planet. They are on a different planet. अगर हमारी मुकाबला उनके साथ करना है तो हमें कुछ और ही करना पड़ेगा ये नहीं चलेगा ये जो हम लोग कर रहे हैं दिन दिन ये नहीं चलेगा कुछ और ही करना पड़ेगा द पॉइंट आई एम ट्राइंग टू मेक जेंटलमैन एंड लेडीज इज आई थिंक फेडरेशन इज अ गुड सेंस ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन अमॉन्ग इंडियन स्टेट्स इज गुड बट द फैक्ट इज इवन आफ्टर सेवेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस आई मीन आई कैन टेक रिलेटिव कम्फर्ट जब अनिल जी कहते हैं अरुण जी कहते हैं कि तेलंगाना ब्राइट स्पॉट है मुझे खुशी होती है खुशी महसूस होती है क्योंकि अच्छा लगता है सुनने को कि हम बाकी राज्यों से बेहतर है बट एक हिंदुस्तानी होने के नाते यू ऑल्सो फील बैड अच्छा नहीं लगता सुन के कि हम 78 परसेंट मेडिकल डिवाइसेस इंपोर्ट करते हैं 80 परसेंट एडिबल ऑयल्स इंपोर्ट करते हैं एज ए इंडियन सिटीजन एज एन इंडियन यू डोंट फील गुड अबाउट इट सो माई हम्बल रिक्वेस्ट यू इज आई थिंक तेलंगाना शुड नॉट जस्ट बी अ ब्राइट स्पॉट Among all Indian states, हमें बाकी हिंदुस्तान को भी रास्ता दिखाना चाहिए और बताना चाहिए कि business on a global scale, impactful statement कैसे करना चाहिए And I request FTCCI to start thinking big, to start dreaming big, to start really aspiring to do more things. I understand that there are impediments. I understand that there are always going to be challenges. और काफी सा काफी बार काफी बार मुझे ये भी सुनने को मिला कि हाँ ठीक है बट अगर हम रिटर्न ऑन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज गुड अगर पैसा बना रहे हैं सब चल रहा है ठीक ठाक तो ज्यादा सोचने की क्या बात है जो चल रहा है चलने दो और हिंदुस्तान में एक आदत हमारी है जो चल सब चलता है एटीट्यूड आई थिंक एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इफ इंडिया रियली हैज टू टेक इट्स प्लेस अंडर द सन इन द फर्स्ट वर्ल्ड वेर इट राइट फुली बिलोंग्स वी ऑल हैव टू स्टार्ट थिंकिंग बिग वी ऑल हैव टू स्टार्ट ड्रीमिंग बिग एंड आई कैन गिव यू टू थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स दिस अ कंपनी इन हैदराबाद Azad Engineering, I think it is called. I'm proud, you know, they started right in front of our eyes. But today, they are working with global majors like Boeing, GE, and others. I was so impressed learning about this company and how, what the kind of partnerships they have been forging. Not just that, I'm equally impressed and equally proud that Skyroot, which you have mentioned, Arunji, the first Indian space tech company to have sent a rocket into the orbit, came from T-Hub. And what's even more impressive, what's even more impressive is Elon Musk, jaise thought leader and a disruptor, unko teen attempt karna pada SpaceX ko orbit be, orbit me bejne ke liye. But hamari jo Hyderabadi company hai, Hindustani company hai, Skyroot, usne pehle hi attempt me Vikram S karke Vikram Sarabhai ke naam pe jo rocket tha, pehle hi attempt me usne space me beja. In the same week, we had another Hyderabadi company called Dhruva Space. Which also sent nano satellites into the orbit. I'm saying if these youngsters can conquer the space, they can tread new territories, and if they can conquer the unconquered, I think most of you who are experienced, seasoned, who have, who at least who have had stars in their eyes at some point, I think you'll have to start grooming your next gen and grooming your own companies to take on the big boys in the world. In 2014, we procured. 68 lakh metric tons of paddy rice, but today we procure three and a half crore metric tons of paddy. So our balance that you see between agri and IT, our industry has grown. 47 billion dollars of investment has been attracted by Telangana state. As Jai said, 24 percent of that investment is repeat investment. Our industry has grown, has created jobs, but so has our environment. Our green cover has improved by 7.7 percent, highest in the country for any state. Now, this is the kind of balance I'm talking about. Our development and welfare go hand in hand. Our rural development, urban development go hand in hand. Our IT exports and agri exports grow hand in hand. Our industry and environment also grow hand in hand. That's why I call my state 
the most successful startup of independent India in the last 75 years. My humble request to FTCCI, I'm not happy with these relative achievements, relative to other states. I think we have to do more. We have to achieve more. We have to really make an impact on a global scale. So my humble request, like I said, prepare the next gen to take on the world, prepare the next gen to create products that will make not just Telanganites but India proud. And I hope FTCCI can drive us in, the, in that direction. You mentioned a couple of things, Anilji. I will, of course, take all of those issues up with you and uh, your office bearers. I'll also have to run it by the Honorable Chief Minister before I can make any firm announcement here. But yes, the OTS that you mentioned, I will make it happen. I've already informed uh, Jayesh to take up the matter. The one-time settlement of pending electricity arrears, we'll take it up, we'll get it done. But the baki do cheese apne pataya, mein uske, uske baare mein mein aapko alag se privately bolunga and we'll make it happen, but just that we need our boss's blessing. So thank you FTCCI for inviting us. Uh, you know, this is a hat trick, like I said, and uh, I hope to come back next year as well and present the awards. Thank you. Jai Telangana.